Kenyan atheists bid for recognition. Recently, atheists in Kenya, a predominantly Christian nation, are becoming more public with their views. After facing years of strong opposition and discrimination, atheists in Kenya society was finally granted an official registration letter in February 2016. In an interview with Religion News Service, Harrison Mumia, founder of the Atheists in Kenya Society, said that they are trying to rebrand atheism to help Kenyans see that atheists are empathetic and that they also intervene to help fellow humans. For example, in 2020, the group successfully paid off the high school fees for the son of an impoverished, impoverished vegetable seller. The number of people leaving uh -huh. Christianity in Kenya has increased in recent years. Mumia, Mumia stated in regards to people leaving their religion, quote, Kenya is changing. This should be the next earthquake. Okay. And what kind of backlash do you expect? Well, Kenya. I think okay. based on, so wait, give me a second. There's something I wanted to bring up. Um, there is a, Kenya is really starting to uh, come into itself in a lot of ways. It has a really young population and part of um, having a younger population is that there's also increasing access to the internet. And so there are more people questioning and they have more access to information. Um, but I wanted to cover this because atheists in Kenya received their own full profile in religion news service which is a big deal. This is a major publication for um, wow. religious news and they work <laughs> and also publish alongside the Associated Press. And so mm -hmm. I was so excited to see in, uh, international atheists, specifically African atheists, getting this sort of coverage in a major news publication like Religion News Service. Um, okay. What I thought was interesting oh, is yeah. uh, in their... Um, your audio they, got cut. Can you go back a few seconds and say it again? Is it just cut for me or oh, is said, it cut well, for other people? Okay, go ahead. I don't know. But um, in, in the profile that they did, like in terms of backlash, it was mainly religious leaders kind of like dismissing um, what they do or dismissing their importance or dismissing their growing power. Like there are estimates that out of the Kenyan population, there are um, almost 800,000 atheists. Um, but the atheist in kenya society they think that it's more like maybe um 1.5 million um and so it, for example in the uh in the issue of the the society raising money to pay off all the school fees for this high school student um there was a religious leader who was asked about this in this profile and he was like oh they only did this for like the publicity basically like totally dismissing what they do like they only did this to you know make people think that what they do is good but it's not really because you know they care about this man and what pissed me off so much is in this profile the guy says that they only did this because of the innate godliness in them it I'm made me so mad he said he credited their generosity meanwhile to a god-given empathy I think that they want to gain mileage and publicity using the vulnerable. I don't think this is about at all about being human. They may say they don't believe in God, but the element of God in them is what makes them be good. Wait, <laughs> isn't, he I, isn't he contradicting himself? Which one is it? Are they being kind because of God or are they not being kind because they just want publicity? They're saying any kindness that they do have is attributed to God, like any good part about yeah. this is attributed to God, but in general, they're publicity motivated, which I think is so rich coming from a religious leader, because especially any Christian, <laughs> because this is like the main push for so many Christian campaigns is using the vulnerable to promote their religion. <laughs> and yeah, what they, I was like, the hypocrisy is just killing me. Um, what they highlight, what, um, Mumia highlighted in when talking to religious news service about this thing is that when they gave all this money to this vegetable seller to pay for the kids' education, she thanked God. She she was thanking God. He's like, we did this because we found a story in people who needed help. We knew that they were religious. It's not about helping only our own kind, you know, and that's okay. Like we just wanted to help these people. Um, so I thought I thought that was interesting. All right. So a few things. Okay. Um. It's okay to do things for two reasons, okay? You could be helping people 
and doing getting positive publicity and that's okay because atheists have been victims of negative publicity for such a long time right so if part of the equation is to show that atheists i mean this is the truth atheists are capable of doing charitable things okay if if part of the motivation that you're doing charity is to show to the world that you are that atheists are capable of being charitable that is yes that is publicity publicity and rightfully so the difference between doing publicity um to publicize something that needs to be publicized um in this way and the way religious people do it sometimes like well not all of them but many religious organizations and some other organization is that you're being clear about what's being done here okay so um you're not hiding it. You're being transparent about it, right? Yeah. You, part of the messaging, okay. You want to call it publicity. Part of the messaging is look, atheists are not all like immoral. Like you don't necessarily like charity and good deeds could be done outside of religion. And that's your message. And you're putting it out there. That is called publicity. Okay. If you're not lying about it, if you're not lying about your intentions, if you're not hiding your motivations, um there's nothing wrong about it didn't you you're doing two good things at the same time you're helping people and also you you're fighting back against this negative propaganda that exists against atheists okay so you oh is it publicity yeah is it publicity yeah that's a good thing why is that bad doing two good things at the same time you're not you're not just helping th those people that are being um so, you know that in need you're also helping the image of atheists worldwide so why why would why would why should I not do publicity? Why should we not do publicity? You your entire the entire religious propaganda has been against us for thousands of years, making us seem like we're like the devil and evil and you know incapable of doing good. We need publicity against all the forces that you have put up against us. So we, yeah, we thank 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 you for public your publicity, um, Kenyan atheists. Um, what is this video? here in this oh yeah so know. um when atheist republic cape town launched their channel dean interviewed harrison mumia he was harrison was one of the first guests on our uh cape town channel oh, so, so we, i just so we, I plugged that in because if, if you want to see harrison and, and you know learn a little bit more about the atheist and kenyan society you can check out what we talked about on our atheist republic channel Okay, guys, go check out the Atheist Republic Cape Town channel. Apparently, they discussed this. So, uh, what is this video? So, yeah, you could go and find this video over there. What is this video called? Uh, it's like uh, Meet the Atheist Harrison Mumia, something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, guys, we have like, we have, we have just for people who don't know, we have an African. Um, general african channel okay so it's not just like cape town it's like other places in africa as well we have a persian channel we have um, an arabic channel right and so hopefully soon we're going to get other channels like kurdish and spanish so at some point once if we ever get more support we will expand to other places as well right in so Shabli. but yeah this is in Shablis. go check out this interview if you're interested into getting more details about the, the activity the I, this kind of activity in Africa. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, there we go. I do recognize that it's weird that people treat Africa as if it's just whole uh, one country sometimes. You know what I mean? Like we're like in Africa. Like I don't know if this is a – because I, 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 I kind of get – a cringy feeling when I every time I hear some people say like in Africa in Africa but now mm -hmm. I'm doing because now I'm feeling un uncomfortable by saying it because sometimes I get butthurt over this because people don't say in Europe or people don't say in North North America okay or people don't say in Asia you know they say I mean they do but mostly like when something happens in Europe you say in Germany in France <laughs> right <laughs> or you say in United States or in Canada or you say like I don't know in China or in J Japan, you don't say like oh like you don't you don't talk about atheism in I mean you do, but most of the time if something happens if an if something is happening in Germany, you don't refer to it as like I mean we didn't because the title says Kenya, so we didn't do that. But I'm just like conscious, uh, overly conscious about not doing that. Okay, so.
but at the same time when we if if the channel or if a movement is about I mean, the other side of this is that we want Africa to work with each other, right? Because there's, there's a lot of struggles there that is just connected with each other and a lot of the struggles that people could relate with each other. So there's a lot of things that are happening that is, there's a lot of movements that are happening that is united between multiple different African countries. So you don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to refer to it as an African thing. Well, it is an Africa. It's not a country specific thing. There are sometimes certain things that are, you want to support as this wider region so I, I, I want to make sure that I'm not too sensitive about it because like sometimes, you know, it's, it's a good thing to talk about um, m m issues like continent wide. I'm Anyways. comfortable saying just African atheists because in general in the atheist movement globally, African atheists as a whole aren't highlighted very much. Right. So. Right. So and we can acknowledge speaking of wait, where is it? Dean. The leader of Atheist Republic Cape Town is saying later today we have an Afrikaans panel on religion in schools. Guys, go check out the channel. So go check it out, Africa you guys. Go check. Go subscribe to Atheist Republic Cape Town channel um, and support this because, like, this is really good. Like, this is like this is the kind of uh, attention we need to things and to movements in Africa because not enough people talk about African related issues. Okay, so and as atheists, that we want to make sure that we bring attention uh, to as many. Uh, of our as many atheists as possible we we don't want to be we want to make sure that africa is going to be the future okay this is going to be where all the battle lines are going to be drawn when it comes to def defending secularism and uh, you know like the religious people are not standing by okay um when it comes to africa they're like m moving heavily in africa okay so we need to make sure that secular activists and atheists Making are there to make sure worse. yeah like Africa doesn't deserve all of this. Like Iran, for example, is exp is investing heavily in spreading Hussein <laughs> all over Africa, especially right now in Nigeria. So that's and they're being successful. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're also present there and to fight back against that bullshit because Africa deserves better than that, all that religious nonsense, right? True. Anyway, so but thank you so much, Dean, for everything you're doing on the channel. You know, really appreciate your work there. Okay, cool. This um and we have love for Dean and his work in the live chat. You love to see oh. it. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below